Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. My name is Krenar and today we have the pleasure to talk about this gorgeous looking guitar, the Harmony Jupiter in Space Black. Now, before we start, I want to make it clear that Harmony and B4 Distributions actually sent me this guitar, but they're not paying me for this video and all opinions and everything that I say are mine and mine only. They don't get to review the video or anything like that. So whatever you're hearing is my honest opinion. So what happened is I contacted them because I saw pictures of this guitar and videos of this guitar online and I fell in love with the, the elegance of it. So I wrote to them and they generously sent me one and I get to keep this one, which is awesome. So thank you so much, uh, B4 Distributions and Harmony Guitars. I'm definitely going to cher cherish this guitar for a long time because it truly is inspiring. On another note, the backing track that you just heard is available for you to download under the description down below. It's a Google Drive link, download it, use it as you wish. If you decide to post something on social media with it, uh, a solo of yours, I would love to listen to it. So tag me on YouTube or on Instagram or Facebook. I'll leave all the links down below as well. And last but not least, as you noticed from my previous video, I partner up with uh, Truefire, which is one of the best learning platforms on the internet for guitar. They have uh, instructors like Robin Ford and Kirk Fletcher, Josh Smith, Pat Martino, may he rest in peace. And I mean, it's the best platform ever. I, last week, I followed a, a couple of videos of uh, Pat Martino. He was talking about augmented chord and the importance of it. And I was really impressed by how easy it was to follow that, that lesson. Because as you might know, my theory knowledge is quite limited. But again, it was really easy to follow that lesson and I enjoyed it a lot. There's actually 87 videos in that lesson only. And I'm look, really looking forward to finish them all and see what I can get out of it. So if you're looking to invest in your playing, you got a 50% off coupon under the description down below. The coupon is Krenad50 and it will be good for you to use in the next purchase from Truefire. So if you do so, let me know what courses you got. Let me know what um, interests you about playing guitar. That would be really interesting. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the history of Harmony guitars and then about this guitar specifically. I want to talk about the history because it's quite uh, a rich history, so to say, and it dates back to the year 1892 when the company was first found. So Harmony guitars have always been made in the United States, but what's interesting is unlike Gibson or Fender, Harmony wanted to make guitars in the United States aimed at beginners with lower budgets and that's what they were known for. So they would be sold in places like Sears or JCPenney. So they would actually chuck out a lot of guitars in production. For example, between the years 1945 and 1975, they managed to produce around 10 million guitars, which is a lot of them. And again, they were sold cheap and they were actually built cheap as well. Another interesting fact is that Harmony didn't only sell guitars under the Harmony name, but they also had different names like Silvertone, I believe. And uh, Jimmy Page was actually famously known for you for using a Silvertone. I think they're Silvertone, I'm not quite sure. But again, a lot of guitars, cheaply made, uh, bolt-on necks, and uh, not a lot of attention to detail, but I've heard from a lot of people that those guitars actually have a lot of mojo to them, which is quite interesting. But nonetheless, after 1975, a lot of uh, overseas companies started making even more affordable guitars, which led to Harmony seizing their operations in the United States. Uh, there were some rumors that uh, the company will be revived uh, in the early 2000s, but that didn't happen until Band Labs acquired Heritage Guitars and Harmony Guitars in the year 2018, I believe. And this is what they came up with. So as I said, the history with Harmony is very rich, but the thing is we have to admit that they made low quality guitars. But what I like about this revival of Heritage and Harmony Guitars is that they, just, they didn't just revive the old guitars, they got a lot of inspiration from them. They tried to stay true to uh, the old Harmony, but what they made here is an exceptional instrument. So this guitar right here is an American made guitar, comes with a mono gig bag and it costs around $1,500, I believe. But it's not that kind of guitar that only Jack White would play. You can, you have like a lot of virtuoso players that can play these guitars and get a lot of interesting tones out of them. They're playable and that's what I, I think they don't have like, for example, the, the, the cheap, 
uh, neck plates that were on harmony guitars they have these different types of designs that just make the guitar feel very solid and the only the one thing that it really caught my attention at 42 gear street is how solid these guitars feel and how i mean playable they are that's one i played a comet at 42 gear street and i was just amazed by how playable it was and this one this example the the, the jupiter it does the same thing for me it's really interesting as a guitar because you don't see this kind of thing every day even though it, it is a single cut but the bridge the gold foils and just the, the entire vibe of it, the scale length, it's a 25 inch scale length, just makes it different. And I really like that about this. It, so again, they didn't just want to, to revive the brand and just produce the same guitars that were produced in, in, the, in the early days, but they wanted to make something better out of it. And I think uh, they hit the nail with this one. They also make amps that look amazing and they sound amazing, but I don't think they've hit the market with them yet. But yeah, I mean, I, I really like this guitar. It's very inspiring. And I think they're here to stay this time because again, you can pick up one of these and you can go to a jazz gig. You're gonna have a good time. You can pick one, one of these, go to a blues jam and you're gonna love it. So it's versatile. It sounds good. It looks good. It feels incredible. And yeah, so great job on, on the revival of these guitars. I'm really, really impressed by these. Now, before we start to get some sounds out of this guitar, let's talk about the specs real quick. It is a simple guitar, but as I said, very versatile, very elegant, and it's really inspiring. So starting from the headstock, we have this gorgeous design right here. And I mean, the color of that mahogany is just amazing. And I really like it. On the back here, we have locking tuners and in my opinion, these are the best tuners that I've tried so far in my guitar playing career because not only they're locking, but the ratio that they have is just perfect for tuning the guitar. And you can you can really fine tune it really well with these tuners and I really like it. So the nut is made out of bone. It's cut really well, all the standard things. It's not cut high, it's perfect, it doesn't buzz, it doesn't bind and I really enjoy it. Now the star of the show for me is actually this neck because just look how beautiful this neck is. I really like the the contrast between the black, the space black body and this neck is just a classic look and I, I can't stop. So as soon as I grab this guitar and I have this view of the, the black finish and this uh, uh, dark neck, I just, I'm, I'm happy immediately. And then we have the ebony fretboard with simple dot inlays. The frets here are medium jumbo to jumbo, I would say. They're big frets, they're tall, and I really like those. They're polished up really well. The fret ends, I mean, you can't, there's nothing wrong with them. You're not gonna cut your fingers or anything like that. You're not gonna cut your hand. It's really comfortable, as I said. There's no high frets or anything like that, and it's really comfortable to play. Now the scale length is 25 inches, so it's actually a bit uh, longer than the Gibson scale length, but a bit shorter than the, the Fender one, so it's right in between. And uh, the other thing that I really like about this guitar is the radius. I think it's a 12 inch, I, I couldn't find anything on the specs, but it's a 12 inch radius and it's very comfortable to play. You can get the action really low and you can start shredding. So everything about this guitar, I just like it so far. The, the finish on the neck and on the body and everywhere is nitro. It doesn't stick at all. It's quite inspiring to play, to say the least. Now the body as well is made out of mahogany and it has this beautiful finish. It's called the space black finish and there are some sparkles, some very subtle sparkles around here which make the guitar look amazing. On the back here, we have the same finish and yes, it is a uh, bolt-on neck design. But as you can see, it's way more modernized with this uh, heel joint right here. And it, it's, not, it's not the same idea of just having a cheap neck plate with a couple of screws on there. This one feels like they've, they've put a lot of time on, on the placement of these screws and on the neck joint uh, in general because it really feels sturdy and I like the fact that it does feel like that. Again, it's not a guitar that you can only play with fuzz and the action is like two meters high or you would only play slide with it. It's a really nice guitar. It plays amazing. What I also really like about this guitar is this bridge right here. It's a custom bridge made by um, Harmony. And again, uh, these guitars are made in the same factory as Heritage guitars in Kalamazoo, Michigan. So 
without out of the way the bridge looks amazing and it has an awesome vibe to it i have to say the pickups here are also made by harmony they're gold foil humbucker pickups and they're quite interesting they don't sound like anything you've played before because they're uh most humbuckers we know them to be a bit more mid-rangey but these ones are quite scooped in the mid-range and you get a lot of low end and high end making them sound a little bit hi-fi and if you're playing by yourself this really helps you with that and if you're a singer songwriter this also helps you with that so they look nice and they look awesome with the gold but they also sound really nice especially in some certain applications as i said for singer songwriters <laughs> the knobs right here are quite awesome as well they call them the cupcake knobs because they actually look like cupcake molds and i like that touch a lot and to finish it off we have the pickup selector three-way pickup selector nothing fancy works great nothing to complain there now that we know the specs let's hear this guitar in action so i have it plugged into my blue guitar amp one which is just amazing very versatile very portable i love that thing and i've plugged it through the two notes captor x which is invaluable for guitar players nowadays because it does everything for you if you have a tube amp that's 100 watts you plug it straight into that and it's just going to record in your computer which is awesome i, I I never thought that I would like that product that much. And last but not least, I'm also running through the Line 6 HXOM XL for some distortion and reverbs and modulation and stuff like that. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, my two cents about this guitar is that it is totally worth it. The build quality, the tones, the feel that you get from this guitar, and the inspiration that you get out of it. Pair that with the fact that it comes with a mono gig bag that costs 250 uh, euros alone. I think it's totally worth it in my opinion. And for me personally, the fact that it's very inspiring and it's easy to play, those are the two things that sell a guitar for me. If you have like a Les Paul and a Telecaster and a Strat and everything, and you're looking for something special to have in your arsenal, but you actually want to spend a lot of time with it, you want to play it, it's not just for that one song, you want it to be a versatile guitar, this is the guitar for you. I mean, at first I thought that this might just occupy a certain uh, aspect of my guitar playing but uh, after a couple of days of playing it I, I realized that I can practically do anything with it which is really important in my opinion to have a versatile instrument and to know it that's awesome but in order for you to know the guitar you would have to spend time with it and it's been a pleasure spending time with this guitar because as I said it plays great it sounds great and it's very inspiring so yeah that's gonna be it if you like what I do here, I would really, really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, like the video and comment with your thoughts. I would really, really appreciate that. The channel is going to be very busy. I have a lot of gear that I need to review, but I've had exams and luckily I've passed all three exams that I wrote uh, in January, which is one of the most stressful periods uh, of, of the year for me. So I'm going to come with a lot of content really soon. So stay tuned for that. And again, I will catch you with the next video. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.